Hey everybody! Off oh, key horribly. Hey everybody! It's Chugga Conrad. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we went to Mount Pyre, confronted Team Aqua. They got away with one of the two orbs, Team Magma, holding the other, and we got a strange item called the Magma Emblem, which we have no direction on what to do with it quite yet. But in this episode, we are going to be tackling the Safari Zone as well as Route 123, some areas that we haven't had the chance to cover yet. Mainly because they're there, and I really don't want to skip over them before we get too much further into the game, though. So this is going to be mainly a side quest slash optional area video. So here, typically $500 Poké Dollars to enter, and we can walk around for 500 steps. We get 30 Safari Balls. Typically how the Safari Zone works is, well, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Is that you can throw a Safari Ball. You cannot weaken the Pokémon that you've just used. All right, you cannot weaken the Pokemon that you are trying to catch in here. There are several exclusive Pokemon you can only find in this area. And those Pokemon can all run away from battle. And whoa! I found a rarity! Uh, here we have a Pikachu. You know what? I will try to catch it. If you go near, your chances of catching the Pokemon go up, but so do its chances of running. If, you're, if you throw a Pokeblock, you can't throw bait in this game. You have to use your own Pokeblocks that you've made, which is really stupid. Um, the chance of catching the Pokemon decreases, but so does its chance of running away. So it's, do you want to play it safe and make it harder to catch, or do you want to be risky and make it easier to catch? I'm just going to throw Safari Balls here. But anyway, Pikachu is a new Pokemon we could find on this route. You never thought we'd see one, what did you? Pikachu, when bred, makes Pichu. No specialty- Whoa, I caught it already? Wow. And through happiness, it evolves into Pikachu, who is a very fast special attacker. When it evolves into Raichu, its special attack gets a lot stronger. If you catch a Pikachu here, there is a chance that you would get a rare item. It can have the item Light Ball, which doubles the special attack of Pikachu, making it a usable Pokemon in its own right without needing to evolve into Raichu. So, kind of a unique thing that Pikachu has going for it there. Here's yet another new Pokemon, which is Girafferig, which has a really unique type of Normal and Psychic. This nullifies the normal weak the uh, normal type's weakness to Fighting, and it also nullifies the Psychic Calf's weakness to Ghost making it immune to Ghost. So, this thing does not have many weaknesses. I believe it is only weak to Dark and Bug. So, really, really good typing it has. It's not the best stats-wise, but I guess if you want to make this thing fit in on your team and you don't have a Psychic type and you want one, I guess you might consider it, though, even though it's not as good as, say, Alakazam or Gardevoir and being a Psychic type, though. But unfortunately, it ran away. So we had our first run away there, not hurting too bad over that. And if I could actually run into the other new Pokemon that you can find here, that'd be wonderful. Yes, I did! Doduo! So Doduo is a really fast flying type, evolving into Dodrio at a fairly late level. If you can somehow get it to that level without much trouble, it is ridiculously fast. It is really, really good at just being a normal flying type. Plus it can learn fly, even though it's a flightless bird, which is kind of weird, but hey. If you really want a good normal flying type, it gets the job done. Granted, I do have my Swablu, which I'm aware is outclassed in that regard, though, but that's because Swablu evolves into something that is not a normal flying type. And now, there is one more new Pokemon that is found in this area. And if I can get it to appear right away on my fourth encounter, that'd be amazing. It is not this, but it is not two. Not two is a psychic flying type, so it's kind of unusual and has a lot of weaknesses. Evolves into Zatu, which is, or Egg Zatu, as I called it in the last LP. Zatu is kind of unusual, also having a lot of weaknesses, and it just isn't the best psychic type in the world. I guess if you really want something that can use both types, I guess it can work for you, though, but I personally don't recommend it, and there's much better psychic tests. The heck, I'd even recommend Giraffe Rick for it. But uh, anyway, now that we're done with that, there really isn't much else here. You can fish in this area. Um, but that's really about it. There's not any Pokemon we haven't seen in this area you can get while fishing. At least I don't think there are. There are more new Pokemon in this area, though, but of course we do have to go into the other areas as far as zone. Should we want to get them? And you know what? Screw this. I don't even want a Giraffe Rig. I'm not really catching these Pokemon because I want to use them. I'm just catching them for the sake of catching them because, you know, this area is kind of, you know, about catching Pokemon. Um see here. I believe that over here there's an area that we can surf which has some stuff that we'd want. Uh, this, it, whenever that sign changes at the top of the screen you can tell that you've transitioned areas. That's really the only way to know that you've transitioned an area or not. So it's kind of weird the way that they did that, but 
That's just kind of how they did it, and I run. And here we actually have the Pokemon Psyduck. You always find this Pokemon while surfing in this area, at least in this part of Safari Zone. I don't know about others. Psyduck is kind of unusual. It's an old favorite, I guess. Despite its name, it is not a Psychic type, and neither is its evolution, Golduck. Psyduck has decent special defense and decent special attack. It's your typical water type, not much else to say here. And it's common, so I guess if you really want a Psyduck just to be funny, it's here. But right here is the main thing you want to surf for. There is a Max Revive. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, there's only two other items we can find here in this far zone right off the bat. There's more we can find here later, but it's only an emerald. Uh, anything up there? Um, if you haven't noticed... Oh, wow. Mock bike. I need mock, mock bike if I want to go up there. I forgot there's actually bike areas here that you can only get to with those. Um, you see those uh, boxes that are like in the middle of grass patches? If I could find one, that'd be wonderful. Wow, this area is being really convenient. Always finding stuff as soon as I start talking about it. Uh, if you happen to use your, um, if you happen to put a Pokeblock in those, that can make rare Pokemon appear more often. I'm not really sure how exactly it works, but that is how it works. It's just that you can find rare Pokemon more often should you use that. Nothing there. Here's the Acrobike zone. Like, as I said, there's, it's kind of odd the way that they did this, though, because, like, you need a Mock Bike to access one half of the Safari Zone and the, um, Acrobike to access the other half, though. There's not really, um, I believe now that we are in this area now, I really apologize for the overload of bios though, but they just throw so many new Pokemon at you here. There are two Pokemon you can find here. And if I can find them... Oh. What? My Safari game is over! Okay, if you have the Acrobike, you can find two Pokemon. First off is Heracross, a bug fighting type. This thing is awesome. If you want a physical attacker, you got it. Heracross doesn't have the best speed in the world, but it learns the move Megahorn, which pretty much makes any darker psychic type cry. Problem is, is that it does have a weakness because it is part fighting type. But if you can get around that weakness to psychic, this thing will make any psychic type just utterly cry. It is a great physical attacker, and in the next games, it only gets better. It gets access to it gets access to moves like close combat in the sequel to this game. So all in all, Heracross is a fantastic Pokemon. Plus, it has guts, which is an awesome ability for physical attackers. And then the other new Pokemon we have on this route, if I could find it, that'd be wonderful because then I could quote an awesome catch for it. Yeah! Oh my god, I found a Fanby! Don't really think that's an awesome catch phrase, but you guys do. So, Fanpy. Pretty rare Pokemon that you can... Well, actually, no, it's not really rare. It's just you can only find it on the Acrobike path. And, as you know, I like this thing. It's very defensive, evolves into Dawn Fan at a decent level, I guess. And, of course, that is defensive as well as... Plus, very offensive. And you know what? Just because... I want to name this thing. In honor of my Pokemon Crystal Let's Play, even though it was a female here and it was a male back in Crystal. Oh, well. At least I caught a Fanpy. And, of course, best of all, even better than me catching a Fanpy, I FOUND A Fanpy! Which is even better. All right, so any items here? I think that there is one item that you can find here. The items in the Safari Zone are really weird. Um, let's see here. Where? Ah, oh, here we are. Wasn't hidden at all, and I wasted my time. And Heracross! I don't want to use this on my team, though, because I already have a full team of six, though. But, wow, if I could catch this thing, that'd be great, because it's actually pretty rare. I'm not really trying to complete my Pokedex or anything though, but it'd be awesome if I could catch it. Come on, man. I just want to catch it for the sake of saying that I caught it, because this is the Safari Zone, and you know what? You gotta cut loose and catch some Pokemon. Just if you're curious about the Safari Balls, which are really weak, Safari Balls, they have the same catch rate as a Great Ball, so if you want to know what the catch rate is on Safari Balls, that's what it is. And wow, this thing is surprisingly not running away. I'm really, really surprised at that. Oh, come on! Get in the ball. Never mind! God, I thought I was gonna catch something rare just for the sake of catching it though, but nope. Here we have a calcium, so if you wanna use that, you can. Of course, I am going to use that though, because I don't know why I would. I guess if I wanted to sell it for money, I could. But for special attack, we will give that to... 
I'll give that to Altair because I want Altair to use some Dragon type moves, and it is an adamant natured Pokemon though, so I want to make up for that. So yeah, I like I said, I'm not really paying attention to natures in the series though. Like that's not a prime concern of mine to have the best nature for everything. Because some people are like, oh no, don't use that for that. It has this nature. I don't really. Even though when playing multiplayer, of course I play, pay attention to natures, I'm just not doing that in this LP though because it is just way too much trouble to go around catching the Pokemon that you want to have have nature, the right nature and everything. Then I don't want to off-screen catching my Pokemon. So anyway, though, uh, we can cat, we can catch, we can find an item around here if we come back here with the mock bike, which I'm going to do. Like I said, there's more items we can find here later in the game, but that is not. We are not later in the game, so we're not going to do that quite yet. So I'll meet you guys back here really quick. All right, so up here in the mock bike area, the Safari Zone, there's a really good item that we can get, and there's also the possibility of finding Dodrios in the wild, even though you can just find Doduos in other areas and evolve them. Let's say you don't want to do that, you could find Dodrios 5% of the time. There's also a new Pokemon here, which is the Almighty Pinsir. What? I find one? Jeez! What is it with me and finding stuff as soon as I talk about it? Anyway, Pinsir is basically Heracross minus the fighting type. Doesn't get same type attack bonus of fighting moves, but at the same time, it doesn't have quite as many weaknesses as Heracross. They're pretty interchangeable. A lot of people like Heracross better, and I can definitely see why, because that other same type attack bonus helps it immensely, as does Guts, whereas this thing doesn't have Guts. But I like them both. If you want a bug type that's really good, these can both get them. There's one other new Pokemon that appears here in this fire zone, which is Rhyhorn. Unfortunately for this thing, it is a rock and ground type, and it is only available this late in the game. By that, I mean that we're going to be fighting almost exclusively water types for the rest of the game really sucks to be this thing. It was available earlier in the game, you might see some use of it, because it's not bad, it's just that in this particular game, it really sucks to be its type this late in the game. Its Evolve Form Rhydon is no different in terms of type. It's not a bad Pokemon, like I said, but it just sucks to have it in this game, though, because it only appears this late in the game when the last quarter of the game is almost exclusively fighting water types, so, yeah. Come on! Use the balls! Believe in the heart of the balls! Again, the heart of the ball sucks. It really sucks, man. Anyway, there is one item you can find here. Is it this guy that gives it to you? So I still have the energy to carry and catch Pokemon, okay. I forget exactly where this item is. I know it's in the mock bike area, and I know what item it is. I know it's really good. Where is it? Aha! TM22 Solar Beam. If you got a Grass type, awesome move there. You have to charge one turn, then you can use it the next turn. Kind of sucks though that they got gypped on that though, because you have Fire Blast and Hydro Pump, which don't need to charge, and then you have Solar Beam, which does, and then of course, you know, Fire Blast can burn, whereas Hy whereas uh, Solar Beam doesn't have an added effect. So it kind of sucks that Solar Beam got screwed there though. But hey, it's a good move, I guess, if you can get around that somehow. But yeah, now that we're done with that. Actually, I take that back. Solar Beam can be useful in double battles if you can somehow distract the other Pokemon in some way with something else, though. But anyway, uh, now that we're done with the Safari Zone, having a massive overload of bios, uh, I went ahead and healed off screen. And now that we're done with that, I am going to head down to Route 123, where there's a hell of a lot of stuff that we can get there, plus a hell of a lot of battles, alright? So, let's go ahead and surf down. It's the freaking intro music! Listen to how happy that is! We're at the freaking Pokemon Tower in this game! This is where the souls of dead Pokemon lay! It's like, I'M HAPPY THAT YOU'RE DEAD! It's like, what a jerk thing to- what jerkish music to put there. I don't know who decided on the music choice there though, but... Whoever did, they were stupid. Now real quick, because I completely forgot about this, and the fact that I also like building suspense, I swapped out Teddy for Slavenator. Don't worry, Teddy will get his time to shine, I just want to build up the suspense a bit. And because of that, we can now go through all the areas in this route. Now this route has a hell of a lot of items on it that we can find. If we go down here, we can find a rare candy already. So let that be a sign for all the good items that we can find here. Let me see who is close to leveling and who's not. You're really close. You're extremely close. You're halfway there. Dang it. Like, none of you who are going to evolve actually are not close to have to getting a level. So I guess we got to fight a little bit. Uh, what would happen if we fought you two? 
All right, we get another PPF over here. Should we beat both of those trainers in a double battle, though? So I guess that's kind of cool. Fortunately for me, though, I got poisoned and got a big chunk of Kaba's HP taken out in that last battle, though, so I'll be sure to heal that up really quick. Uh, do I have anything besides the Soda Pop I got free? You know what? I'll use Super Potions, though, just because they're weaker. Might as well conserve my good items. So, I will use a Peach Berry. I have 14? Okay! I am definitely not hurting at all using these items. By all means, poison my Pokemon. See how I care. <laughs> I am so, so nice to my Pokemon. I really am. Over here, we have quite a few berries. They've been handing these out, of course, to Ross Berries, so to Burn Heals. And remember what they always say, you better have Burn Heal! Two Citrus Berries, 30 HP, better than a potion. And I'm going to say Peach Berry. I have 50. Wow, I use one to get two. I'm just, rake I'm just rolling in the items here. Uh, any items over here? We have a cuttable bush here. Now, there's a lot of branching paths on this route. Trust me, you are going to need to go through this route at least twice should you want every item that's here. Also, rains here quite a bit. We have a Hyper Potion. A hyper Potion there. Can't believe I've been hocking up my Hyper Potions. That didn't have an H in it, though, so I don't know why I hocked that time. But we'll use a Super Repel here because we're going to go through some grass, and I want to see if there is an item here. No, there is not. Um, it just goes full circle. Up here, we have two Lepa Berries. So we got those, and then we got two more Lepa Berries, so they are just, god, like I said, they just hand out the items in this game, it's ridiculous. And right here we have a Super Repel, which I just used, so I got compensated immediately. And then down here we have an Elixir, and then over here we have a Rock. Okay, there's a lot of trainer battles in this route though, so of course if you want the experience, this is a good place to train. Uh, anything over here? Here, maybe under this rock. No, okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess this rock has stuff. No, and I have a double battle right here. Okay, I cut that battle not because I didn't want to show a battle, but because that battle went nowhere. That battle took eight minutes. Eight. That's like half an episode, if not more. That went on for such a long time. It was just. Pelipper kept using Protect, and my attacks kept missing it when it wasn't doing Protect, and then when it actually didn't use Protect, everybody would miss. It was so freaking ridiculous. I have never seen anything quite like it. It was so nuts. Uh, Kappa fainted in that battle, though. I'm going to use a cool tent together with Altair, because if I'm not mistaken, Altair is due for a level. Don't be too happy if your Pokemon develops psychic powers. You need to refine those powers to make them really useful. Hello, child. Can you spare some time? All right, now this guy might have a wig, but I just like to think that he goes <laughs> and blows out his hair. Maybe she used her psychic abilities to manipulate his hair growth. I really don't know, but I like to think of him just like straining like an old man and being like, <laughs> and like having his hair pop out. It just, it sounds so funny, and you know what? Even though I'm not really a big fan of the show, I'm pretty sure some people out there are, though, but I'm not. Imagine, like, even if you're not a fan of the show, even though I'm not, I still think this is a funny concept. Imagine, like, the Naruto characters that go, like, Eeeh! for, like, an attack, and he just, like, makes, like, hair pop out. That'd be so funny. Not a, like I said, though. But, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I just think that that would look so hilarious, seeing, like, a character from a show like that doing that. Just, like, Eeeh! with hair popping out. But, anyway, this guy's got a cadaver and a macho. And you know what? I fought a Zachu in the last video. And you know how... Uh, not last video, last battle that I cut out. And you know how I called it an Exatu in the last in the last LP? You know, I think I have an explanation for that. Exatu would be the combination of Execute and Natu, so it's Exatu. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I am so pathetic. Anyway, we took out both of them with Surf. Surf is ridiculously overpowered in double battles in the rain, as we all know. And we have a Lunatone, which my takedown isn't going to do diddly squat to. Uh, I should have used Steel Wing. Little did I know that they were going to use that next. So we're just going to do Surf and Steel Wing here. I doubt it's going to even survive the Surf, though, but just in case, I'll follow up with the Steel Wing. And that should be the end of that. This should pretty much do it. I haven't used Sludge Bomb quite yet, which is kind of a shame because that is a good move. I just haven't had any situations in which I would use it quite yet. And there we go. Overwhelmed. Ah, mighty capable child, let me contribute to your allowance. 
Wow, I wish I got that much friggin' money for allowance. Even though if that's in yen, that's still like 20 bucks. Wish I got that much for allowance. I didn't get allowance as a kid. Everyone's like, we're, we're always like, we're poor. You're gonna do the chores because you gotta keep the house afloat. You aren't gonna get any kind of money for that. We don't have that kind of money to give you. You gotta do the chores because you're helping the house. Keeping our heads above water and all that. Um, Terra's pretty, nah. If I wanna use a rare candy, Altair is decently close to a level. And usually I only like to use them when they're really far from a level though, but Altair is really close. Uh, I got two rare candies. You know what? I'll hold off on using one in Altair. Even though it will get an evolution, I wanna hold off just cause it's really close. But uh, anyway, with that, we've come full circle. And if you wanna go get the rest of those berries from the Berry Master's Wife, we are in this route once more. I don't believe the word contest is in your vocabulary from the start. I could be wrong on that, but either way, if you tell her the words um, challenge contest, she'll give you the Pam Tree Berry that I spoke of that makes evolving Phoebus into Milotic really easy. Of course, you want to grow quite a few of those and then blend them so you can get as much use out of them as possible. The other phrase you can tell her right now is Super Hustle, which will get you a Baloo Berry. But aside from that, there really isn't anything else that you can get there quite yet, though, so... I guess that pretty much does it, all right, though. So, we went and got a bunch of items, we got some battles out of the way, and we leveled up our Pokemon. So, I guess we're gonna end things off here. So next time on Pokemon Emerald, we are going to be hopefully finding out the origin of that Magma Emblem, and, you know, continuing the story. So, next time Pokemon Emerald, we'll be doing just that. See you guys then. Oh. Slacking will finally get to be a dick in the next episode! Aha!